Rahu Bot, everyone. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. This is your boy. I am Hotep Jed. Um, ran into a, a interesting article, man, about um, child support, and uh, and it, it actually it's a, from a place where I used to live in San Diego, um, where there was a parent advocate group that charged a couple of San Diego judges with basically racketeering, extortion, you know, all the stuff that, you know, we talk about. So I just wanted to read it. Um, I'm not going to read it in its entirety because well, actually, okay, there's a lot, a lot of people got opinions about this, but California is one of them states where, uh, where people fight. Um, and I'm probably a benefactor of that because my case is in San Diego County too. Uh, where I'm fighting mine, but people in California fight, man. We don't, we don't care, dude. <laughs> we don't care, player. Um, there's a lot of states or a lot of people in other states, like on down south and the east coast. Y'all not fighting, man. Y'all not fighting because judges think they can do anything out there. So the people have to be the balance of power. See, California people fight, and I'm, you know, I'm just a, I'm just homegrown in Southern California, so. We're going to keep it popping till the wheels fall off. That's that's how we're doing it. Um, so let me read this. Uh, August 20th, 2013, San Diego, California. In its continuing campaign to end the harassment, fraud, and abuse rampant in California state family courts, a parents rights group in Calif the California Coalition for families and children has filed a lawsuit today in federal court charging the San Diego County courts, social workers, divor divorce attorneys, and uh, psych psychologists with federal criminal racketeering. The abuses of parents and children by family courts, social workers, and family uh, law attorneys have harmed parents and children for far too long. We intend to end that abuse, says CCFF. F, I'm sorry, FC, President Colburn Stewart. Family court is designed by its makers to be probably the most dangerous life event parents and children can endure. It enables and profits from every inhumane instinct known to man, greed, hate, resentment, fear, resulting in abundant cash flow for the divorce attorney, uh, for the divorce industry, and a fallout of parent and children's misery and beyond the curtain of this machine of misery we've uncovered its cause the multi-billion dollar divorce industry populated by judges attorneys and the machinery of tax dollar fed judicial administrators which there can be no judicial administrators so that's already illegal social workers that george orwell would marvel at we've been delivering that message kindly for years now Yet the tide keeps rising on families in crisis. We've appealed to the county court, state, and local politicians, state judicial oversight bodies, United States representatives, and just plain old human dignity. But the uh, harassment and abuse of parents and children has only increased. A resort to federal court intervention in, this, in the widespread criminal collusion in, this, in state government was the next logical step, which is the steps that people are doing in child support right now i know i'm doing it with a couple of people it's time to recognize family court for what it is a corporate crime ring raiding parents and children for a financial and psychological well-being and devouring our children's futures and it's not just divorce lawyers it's judges judicial administrators psychologists cops and prosecutors people we should be able to trust in a modern day criminal cabal using county courtrooms and sheriff's deputies as the machinery of organized crime, says Stewart. Since state officials' hands are too deep in the cookie jar to stop their own abuse, we're seeking the assistance of federal oversight. CCFC has been active in years uncovering fraud and abuse of families and children in state courts, including the consumer fraud case of Dr. Stephen Doyne, the most notable child support custody elevator in San Diego. 
They're, they not only let Doyne run wild for years, they actively protected his abuse of parents and children. In my mind, the industry is a godless abomination, says Stewart. One of our parents who challenged Doyne and lost was ordered by some by the same court that employs Doyne to pay Doyne's attorney fees over 380000 for calling out his undisputed fraud. It's outrageous and it's going to stop. CCFC's complaint details both civil and criminal charges. We've alleged over 34 specific federal crimes in the complaint, and we're turning over evidence over to the FBI and U.S. attorney for further investigation. The complaint is available online through Facebook page, and y'all can read the details there. But isn't this everything that we've been talking about? This is everything, y'all. Except in states like Virginia, um, you know, Tennessee, um, y'all need to get groups like this, man, and start hitting these people with RICO and, rac and, and racketeering and extortion, because that's what it is, you know, and I'm not, well, I agree with this, and I've been saying what the CCFC saying, I've, we've been on this, man, hit these dudes with RICO, man, because that's what they doing, and you got to take it federal, you got to take it federal, don't try to go to the state appellant course because they're in on the scheme too man just like this article said so anyway uh there's more to this article if you want to read the quotes and these might be from judges but i, I don't feel like reading all that I'll, I'll read it all later but i just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention that there is criminal activities going on with these judges these judges cannot be trusted in family court you know and this is not even title for d court so don't get that mixed up with family court so the, these people are acting illegally and it's time that you start hitting them with it's time time that you start hitting them with uh, lawsuits and uh, taking your cases to federal court so they can have original jurisdiction. All right. So make moves, man, make moves. And um, if it's in you, you'll do it. You know what I'm saying? If it's in you, uh, you'll do it. Uh, now, there's a quote by the Essenes who were uh, Hebrew Israelites, uh, before, you know, when the Romans came and they sacked Jerusalem, they all committed suicide on uh, Mount Sinai. So there's a quote, if I can remember here, it says, oh yes, yes, okay, I think I remember. So it says, if you bring forth what's in you, it will save you. If you do not bring forth what is in you, it will destroy you. All right. So if it's in you, fight these people, man. Find find a way to fight them, because obviously there's there's hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people who feel the same way you do. But in some of these states, they're not stepping up. Now California people step up. There's no doubt that people step up in California, man. We got the confidence to stand up out there. Now I like a lot of these other states. I don't see y'all doing that. So get together and organize man that's that's what they're scared of people getting together organizing and pulling their resources together just like the government pulls their resources together you know what i'm saying we have to be the balance to government and we gotta uh talk to our legislature you know what i'm saying so anyway i hope everybody has a a blessed sunday um and i will keep you in tune with this whole child support thing and what's going on currently all right shalom wadu